Mr. Euclid. How are you? I'm very good today. Very good indeed. So, Mr. Euclid, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I was born on November 22nd, 1729, in Biarn, France. I arrived in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1755. I came to Missouri to make a training post in 1763. Did you have a job while you were in New Orleans? Of course I did. I was part of a fur trading company and later a merchant. And do you have any hobbies, Mr. Euclid? Trading, of course. So, why is it that people know you so well? Because I found and constructed St. Louis. It may, it may have started out as only its trading post, but now it's the second largest city in Missouri. So, why did you build St. Louis near the mouth of the Missouri River? So I could trade with people on land and boats instead of just land. But we couldn't build where the Mississippi and Missouri met because the land was too marshy. So we chose a spot 18 miles away. What kind of settlement did you make St. Louis? A frontier settlement. There was no one there when we got there. And did you live in St. Louis yourself? I sure did. I had a number of homes in St. Louis. I understand that your stepson's father was a friend of yours. Is that true? Yes, he was. A close friend of mine. However, he left his wife and returned to France. She, came, she became my wife. Did you and Madame Chateau have any other children? Yes, we had four other children, John Pierre, Ma Mary Pel Pelagie, Mary Louise, and Victoria. How many men worked for you, and who was in charge of them? There were about 30 men, and my own stepson, Augustus Chateau, was in charge of the whole project. When did you put Chateau in charge? I put him in charge from the very beginning in... February 1764, when I returned to New Orleans. How did Chateau and the men make the houses? They chopped down trees to make log cabins. It was very difficult work. How did you come up with the idea of St. Louis being a trading post? I was instructed by traveling up the Mississippi River, where I found some land I wanted to make a trading post there. Is it true that you had a good relationship with the Native Americans in the area? Why, yes. For quite some time, we were the only people trading with the Osage. It made us quite a bit of money. When you decided to build St. Louis, what did you believe it would become? I believe it would become a trading empire. Did you name St. Louis after someone? Yes, I did. I named it after the 13th century French king Saint Louis the Ninth. I am from France after all. Did you have a job there and how long did you have that job? Yes I did. I governed St. Louis from February 1764 to October 1765. I understand that you are a businessman. Tell me about your businesses. Well we already discussed my trading business. I also own the town's first industry a water-powered mill. I hear that you don't use your last name. Is that true? No, I did not use my last name. However, my full name is Pierre Leclede Leguest. How did you design St. Louis? As I designed St. Louis very much like New Orleans. Did you ever imagine yourself being inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame? No, I never even imagined that I would become that famous. You can go and see my star at 6317 Delmar. And that concludes our interview with Pierre Lecle. Lecle died the, near the mouth of the Arkansas River when heading back to St. Louis from New Orleans. He was buried in an unmarked grave. Thank you, folks, and have a good night.